welcome to the tutorial video for green, Lego green screen. So the first thing you're going to need is lots of lights. You can use lamps like this. Uh, to get a really good key, you're probably going to need three of them. One on this side, one on that side, and one going straight down on the subject. This should minimize um, all the shadows that the subject makes. And yeah, so before you start, you should do like a test shot to make sure what you have is a, a good position for the camera to be in and the lights are in a good position. The next thing you'll need is obviously a green screen. Um, you can use any color, uh, but green definitely does work best. Um, this color will need to be different than your foreground and your subject, however. And uh, I just use regular poster board for this. You can get this at any store with an office supply section. They're really cheap, like 99 cents. Next, you're going to take all your photos here. Um, you should be careful about shadows, as I said before, because um, even shadows that don't go onto the green screen, because if you see here, if I turn off this light, then there's a lot of shadow right here and you can see that it is kind of tinged green because of the reflection of the green screen so if that is there then uh, it'll key out that shadow as well and it'll look really bad like there's a hole in the floor or something so make sure there aren't any wires or uh, other Lego pieces that are in the way of the lights uh, that can cause sh more shadows which is bad. So um, you also want to make sure that the green screen on the back is a very smooth color. It should tr you should try and make it so that the green screen is all one color, uh, which can be pretty difficult. You will need to play around with the lighting and how it shines onto the green screen. So shoot your stop motion. Um, don't let any light change around your stop motion working area just make sure it stays consistent otherwise the key is going to be offset and it's going to look really bad so we will move on and we're back um, okay so the program we're going to use today is called Synagogue's Keyer I'll put a link for it to the in the description um, yeah so once you've loaded up your pictures on the computer we're going to open up Synagogue's and go to file import image slash video sequence or you can just press control I now navigate to where you saved your pictures and synagogues is pretty old so you won't be able to just shift click and select all your frames instead just click the first frame and hit open so now you should have all your frames in synagogues as you can see I messed up on the lighting I know that's really stupid of me after telling all you guys to be careful about it, but yeah, I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to General and click on this button right here that says Color Picker. Now click anywhere on your green screen and that'll select that color. Next go to Color Difference Mate and go up to this black threshold. So there's sort of a color coding that goes on here. Um, the darker a color is, the closer it is to turning yellow. And if something is yellow, it's going to be keyed out and that's where your picture will go. So you just keep sliding this up until you get uh, about all of it done. As you can see uh, right here, his stomach is about to be taken out because of the reflection and I still haven't gotten the corner ready. So what we're going to do is we're gonna keep going until stomach just starts to be taken out and go back to right about there so now you can click on this button here that says color difference and that will take out all the background that was yellow so here we go and um, we'll fix this later but right now as you can see everything has sort of a green tinge around it which really looks ugly so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this button here that says Spill Suppression. And just click that and it will take out all the green tinge. It offsets the color just a little bit, but it's better than having that green all over. 
So now we're going to fix this uh, corner here. So to do that, we go to opacity right here. So this, this will change um, some of the other parts, but it looks a lot less ugly than just taking it out. So you just drag that until the edges are smoothed out. And about there. So as you can see that, um, if we go back here, you can see that his stomach is a tiny bit see-through, but uh, we got rid of the cor corner mostly, and it's a lot better than just taking out his body altogether. All right, so now you're pretty much done. Uh, we're going to put in the picture that we'll be using for the background now. So to do that, we go up here to preview. So we're going to be changing the boxes in here under background. So to start, we'll go to load image slash video and open file. So now navigate to where you saved your background picture. I have mine right here. I'm going to do a picture of the desert. So now you hit OK, but it's not changing. So what you have to do is you go to get this drop down menu and switch it to image slash video from file. And then there we go. So the green screen is pretty much finished now. Uh, to save it, it's pretty complicated. Uh, you start by going to output and then image channels and then go to uh, preview. Now go to output type and select PNG single file. So this will save each of your frames that you have loaded in here as a PNG file. Uh, you could save it as an AVI file, but it really, really bugs out and messes up. It's playing super slow and just nothing looks right. So I always save it as PNG and you can use a program like Windows Movie Maker or Windows Live Movie Maker to stitch them together and edit the time that they play for later. So now you're pretty much done. You just go to File, then to Render and Save Video. Now choose where you want to save it. I will create a new folder on my desktop called Keyed Frames and save it in here. And now you're done. It'll load and once it's done you'll be finished. So I'll show you the finished product right now.